Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today's video will be taking a look at what potentially could be something of a lifesaver. This is the Maypole 300 amp lithium ion power pack for jump starts in your car. Keep watching, find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at Maypole's 300 amp lithium ion battery booster. This is essentially like those power packs you see for charging your mobile devices, that kind of thing, but on a much bigger scale. Well, much higher scale. Literally, it's pretty much the same size as some of the other power packs on the market, but this thing packs a severe punch. It comes with all the safety technology for overcharging, undercharging, all those kinds of great things, and this will be a lifesaver. At the moment, here in the UK, the temperatures are dropping, and I guess that's pretty much the case around most of the European Union, and also in areas of the state. So if you're in one of those slightly chillier areas, and potentially you're in a similar situation with the whole human malware thing, where you're not using your vehicle for extended periods of time, and when you do actually need to use it, and when you can actually go out, you can turn the key, and you've got absolutely nothing. So what do you do? You either phone up the recovery service, the RAC AA here in the UK, green flag, that kind of thing, or you go around to a neighbor and say, oh, if you've got some jump leads I can borrow, we've all been there at some point or other. You've gone out to a frozen car, it's a horrible dark day, and you just want to get going and you can't. So something like this is a really handy thing to have, either in the glove box, keep it at home. If you've got a family with various different car drivers, keep this at home, keep it on charge and keep it ready so that that one morning when you're late for work and the car just will not start, this could save your bacon. So let's take a look at the packaging, see what we get inside, and then we'll do a practical test on my uh, old BMW 320D out in the driveway, which currently will not start. Hence why we've got one of these. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so looking at the packaging, first of all, as you can see, it's from the Maypole brand, which has actually been around in the UK for a really, really long time. I remember back in the very, very late 80s, early 90s, the Maypole brand were always around. So they've been around a long time. They kind of know what they're doing, so you can trust their brand. Uh, it's 300 amps, as you can see, lithium ion battery, and it classed as a power pack. You've got things like tablet charging, mobile phone charging, and also you can charge things like cameras. Basically any USB device you can pretty much charge. There are cables included, so you can charge all those kinds of devices. But obviously the main thing of this is, is for getting your car or your van started. Now this will work with vehicles up to around about three liters in capacity. So for some of you people in the Americas, then you might struggle because you do have your larger engines. But for those of us here in the UK and also the European Union, we generally tend to have slightly smaller engines, so it should be absolutely fine. Now there are some caveats for this when you're actually trying to use it. The vehicle battery must be in relatively good condition, albeit obviously flat, but if the battery itself is dead or has broken cells or damaged cells, or has been left for an extremely long time without any charge and the voltage has dropped to such a low level, that this will not be able to do it. There are actually meters on the side of it, so you can tell if the battery is completely faulty, whether or not you're wasting your time, but for most people where you've just left it a little bit too long or maybe you've uh, gone away on holiday and you've left your car in a car park and you come back two weeks later and it's a little bit flat. This is perfect for that kind of situation. And normally with car batteries, temperature does play a big part. So when we get either spikes in temperature, either hot or cold, that can have a real negative effect on most car batteries. So again, this isn't just something for the winter. Also can be used really easily in the summer when car batteries get hot. They do some weird things and sometimes they just go flat. Or maybe you've left your sunroof open or left your lights on and because it's bright you didn't notice it. It's those kind of things where this is going to come in so, so handy. Anyway, back to the packaging. So on the side here we've got some technical specifications. So the battery capacity is 6,000 milliamp hours. The size of it is 13 centimetres by 7 centimetres by 1 centimetre. So pretty much pocket sized. The weight of it is only 212 grams. So essentially you could take this with your luggage if you're on holiday. So it's ready when you come back off your holidays. Charging input is 5 volts 2 amps on the USB or 15 volts 1 amp if you plug it in with a car charger, which we'll take a look at later. The output is 12 volts for the jump start and 5 volts 2 amps for the USB. The starting current is 150 amp hours and the peak current is 300 amps. Charging time is around about 2 hours from completely flat and the life cycle of this is around about 1,000 full charges. So, yeah, should last, uh, well, if you do one charge a day, that's at least 3 years anyway. Price-wise, at the moment, this is on Amazon.co.uk for $39.99, which I think is actually pretty decent value for money. I've looked around on various other sites, like Holfords, etc., here in the UK, and actually this comes out to be pretty much the best bang for buck of the whole range. So 
hence why I got it. Also, this was available for me from a local car store accessory shop, which I'll put links to in the video description. So if you want to check it out if you're in Bristol, feel free to drop in and say hello. So it says on the front, uh, we've got smart cable technology with automatic safety protection. It's portable and lightweight, uh, complete with accessories, etc. Fast charge, two hours, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, long life cycle. So let's take it out of the box and see what we actually get. So first of all, we get the actual battery itself. This you could easily mash up with a normal USB type battery bank. Um, you wouldn't really tell a lot of difference. Weight wise is virtually the same. The main differences are the connections on the top there. So on the connections, we've got the specific blue type connections there, which are for the actual jump starter. We've got a DC line in, which is for the cigar lighter into the accessory port. So you can plug this into a car. So this is the kind of way you would use it in that situation. So say for instance, you've got this in your car, you've got it with you, your car won't start. This has got a little bit too low a battery in it. It's not quite charged enough. So what you can do is plug it into someone else's cigar lighter. So you can flag down someone or get another family member out who maybe isn't able to jumpstart your car, but certainly has got a running car. You can plug it into there, let it charge until it gets to about 75%. And then this is ready to go and will start your car. So loads of options there. So even if you are worried, oh, maybe this isn't going to go flat if I don't charge it for a while, you still can get yourself out of trouble without having to have a set of jump leads or another car. Just flag someone down, plug it in, and you should be good to go in about half an hour or so. Next up, there is a little LED, which is for a torch. So this actually can be used as an emergency torch. So if we press and hold the power button on the side and you get a little LED torch, which is handy. Again, if you're underneath the bonnet and you're trying to find where the points are to actually start your car, brilliant stuff. You don't have to have a separate torch all in one nice little package. There is actually a light on the top as well, which lets you know that the uh, torch is on. So turn that off and the lights go out. You can actually use that button on the side as well for testing the battery level. So if you press it once and you get the LEDs come up. So four LEDs means 100% charge, three LEDs, 75% charge, two LEDs, 50%, one LED, 25%, and a single flashing LED means it's less than 25% charge and obviously needs a charge. So a good way of working out if it's actually charged or not at a moment's notice. Going back to the connections on the top, so we've got a USB micro, so you can plug that into a PC or a wall socket, whatever the case may be, you can just plug that straight into there and that will charge the unit. You can leave it on charge for about two hours to give a full charge. Also on the end, you've got a regular USB type A port, so you can plug into that, various things like your mobile phones. And if we look at the cables that are included, we can see what kind of devices we can actually plug in straight away. Also inside, obviously you get installation manual or instruction manual telling you how to use it. Again, pretty much straightforward stuff. You get the actual, the brains of the operation. So this is the actual jump starting pack. And obviously you've probably seen these before. You understand where these go. So first of all, you put your positive connection on your battery. Then you put your negative onto an earthing point. Ideally the battery engine block. So most cars will have a point underneath the bonnet. This section here is where all the brains happen and there's two LEDs on there, a red one and a green one. Green one basically means that the polarity is, is correct and it's ready to go. There are other things it does like flashes. So if you've got the polarity around the wrong way, so if you accidentally put the red one on the black and the black on the red, it will flash red to say that there's a polarity difference and it's not gonna work. But essentially, other than that, it's all pretty much automatic. It just does everything it needs to. So we'll leave that to one side for now. Next up, we've got a little carry bag so you don't have to keep it all in the packaging you just stick it all in this nylon bag which is relatively weatherproof stick it in your glove box or maybe in a travel bag that kind of thing you also get the cigar lighter or accessory adapter which has got that barrel connection so you can just plug that into the end like so plug that into an accessory adapter and leave that on charge again if it's a little bit low on charge and you need to do a quick boost put it to someone else's car boost it up for a little bit then you're ready to go and last of all, you get a three-way connector. So this is our USB type A. So we can plug that into the power bank. And then we've got three connectors on there. So you can charge um, a micro USB type device. You can charge a lightning device. So iPads, iPhones, that kind of thing. And also you've got a USB type C as well. So pretty decent spread there. Uh, I don't really think there's anything they've obviously missed out there. I think that covers pretty much all bases in the last 15 to 20 years. So the question you're probably asking is, right, how do you actually use it? So first of all, get your power bank, make sure it's got charging, which we've uh, already done. So press the button and our LEDs have lit up. So we've got four LEDs, so that's absolutely perfect. So the next thing to do is to get this part in the blue part and plug it into the actual unit itself. So that is it, that's plugged in, ready to go. 
at the moment there's no lights on because it's not connected it doesn't actually start working until there's a voltage going through it a minimal voltage which is why there is a safety cut out in there as well this little unit will make some clicking noises because there's relays and all those kinds of other gizmos and gadgets in there which actually do all the kind of sensible stuff and literally all you do is open the bonnet find your ports under the car plug them on and that is it you can just leave it to its own devices so ideally you want to leave it on there for about 30 seconds or so in which case then it's going to be ready to try and crank the car you can try and crank a car if it doesn't work straight away you just leave it for another 30 seconds or so it will keep on trying to reboost the battery every 30 seconds or whenever it senses the current sense on the battery it'll kind of reset itself ideally this should work after the first time obviously if it doesn't if your battery is particularly flat then you can give it a couple more attempts if after three or more attempts it still won't start then generally you can have a problem with your battery and you should probably get a uh, mechanic or something like that out. this isn't a magical device it won't repair a battery if it's broken or damaged or has dead cells this is designed purely to give a little bit more voltage to the battery just to get you to the point where you can actually crank your engine and get it started now obviously if you've got a damaged alternator or something like that or something wrong with your charging system or if you've got an agm style battery then you may need to get that checked out there is a little bit more that goes on if your alternator is not charging your battery is going to be either completely dead or it's going to be cooked if the alternator is overcharging so definitely get those things checked out but essentially as long as your battery is just dropped in voltage and not got enough to crank then this should get you out of trouble which hopefully is about to do now so let's go outside and give it a try for ourselves okay so we've got our maypole charger and we've got our two connections so this is our bmw 320d so we're going to connect up the battery terminal so we've got one there this is our positive cap so we're just going to stick that on there and then need to find a negative point so somewhere on the engine um, or a specific point somewhere uh, what can we use there's one just down here so there was a click and now if we look at the the light there so we'll leave this about 30 seconds and you can hear hopefully there's some clicking going on so we'll leave that there and i'll go now get in the car and try and turn it over So there we go, car started up, uh, first time, first push of the button, happy days. So once that's done, remove your positive, remove your negative, and then just replace any caps, anything like that. And that is it. Ideally, obviously if you want to leave the engine running for an extended period, I'm not going to do it for this because it's just a video, so that is absolutely fine, but at least we know it's going to work. And if we check the battery level, we've still got 100%, so it's going to be absolutely fine if we need to do it again. Definitely worth keeping on charge or keeping handy, especially on these uh, colder days. So let's get back inside. It's freezing. Okay, so there you go. Nice and easy to do. That can really, really get you out of a fix if you're in a spot of bother and can't get your car started. Obviously, I was uh, beneficial because we had Kath out there helping out doing the camera work, which actually, for those of you who are interested, the camera work exterior-wise was done on the DJI Pocket 2, which we've just got, which we'll be reviewing shortly. But yeah, very impressed with that. And hopefully you could all see how easy it was to actually do. Literally just connect up the two terminals, give it about 30 seconds. So basically enough time to walk around to the car to stand in and get inside and get the keys ready and all that kind of stuff. And then just press the button and uh, yeah, we were off to the races. Well, not quite, but you get the idea. So I think this is a fantastic thing to buy for uh, safety. Obviously, if you're out somewhere, if you've gone to a friend's and you've left your lights on, you don't want to be stranded somewhere when you've gone out. 
it's just that extra peace of mind. So certainly well, well recommended. We will be putting affiliated links in the video description. So if you want to check out for yourself, please do so. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, please obviously do leave them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we won't see you stranded on the side of the road. Thanks for watching.